All right, good morning, everyone. We are um, actually headed out this morning. We have a couple tips for you. One, if you're looking for a rest area to pull over and rest or spend the night, if it says no trucks, they mean no trucks. Second tip, if you're looking for a Walmart to overnight oh. stay in, make sure that you research Super, Super Walmart. Walmart. Yes, we ended up going to Walmart, which was just the market. We are at Endora. We've been full-time RVers since 2009 and travel with our two fur babies, Missy and Mason. As we travel around this great country, we've had to get creative with various ways to earn income. So not only we're going to show you our destinations, great places to see and do things, but we're able to show you how we make income so maybe you can too. Good morning, everyone. There's Mr. Mason, Mr. Ed. I'm gonna show you what it looks like outside our door. Wasn't that a much better view than we had yesterday? I would say so. Dirty parking lot with the semi, yes. So today, <laughs> today we are um, going to the mine. We're going to do a tour first. They suggested doing a tour. So they um, will show you where to look and also, where to dig. yeah, where to dig, um, what we're looking for instead of just blindly going out and digging right. around and wasting our time. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to go digging, and then I think Ed, the other Ed, not my Ed, the other Ed is going to do a zip line, but we'll have to see. Um, I'm a scaredy pants when it comes to height, so I can't do it, so I don't know if he'll want to do it um, alone or not. We'll just have to wait and see, but we'll take you along with us today. Stones. Now, a lot of people think this is some kind of fossilized vegetation. Not really what goes on here. These are found in China, in the China Sea, and some kind of organics, probably a fish or maybe some kind of plant life, fell to the bottom, landed right there, right there. Got covered up with the silt and sediments on the bottom. Now, all that water weight constantly pushing down on this thing created a hard pack, and it splatted it out to what you see right there. That's really cool. We have petrified wood slabs up on the wall. Mm. We can take any one of our clear and white quartz crystals like that and turn it black with the use of gamma rays. We uh, had the same equipment used uh, re-sterilized surgical equipment, hospitals. It's called an autoclave. And it'll take that and turn it black. Yeah. And it's yeah. all the way through? Or is it just outside? Well, coating? it reacts with a trace amount of aluminum that's in every one of the crystals. All right, hang out right here. Let me turn the lights on and show you something cool. You can look at that amethyst there. The white ones in there are calcite crystals. Wow. 
All right, in my hands, I have two white chunks of quartz. Check this out. This is called piezoelectricity. Quartz is a superconductor because when I put these together, it starts supplying that friction right oh, here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One becomes positive, one becomes negative, and now I am generating electricity. Now, since the dawning of uh, electronic devices, they've been cutting the quartz crystals up and using them. I hear the quartz clock radios yeah. and piezoelectric vibrations. These happen in time, so they keep time. Pretty wild stuff. Even before the electronics, they were taking them, cutting them up, and using them uh, for uh, binocular lenses, rifle scopes, stuff like that. It's a highlight opal from Mexico. They call them something else. Superman, but you... that's... Oh, um, the glow. Yeah, that's what we've seen in there. Kryptonite. So we're not oh, going to wow. find that here, are we? No, well, they only mine the clear and white quartz here. We went up last year and did look for Uper lights. Oh, up yeah. The upper mm -hmm. UP. There you go. Did you find any? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Beautiful. The Lake Superior agates are up there. Beautiful, too. Trace amount of uranium that's in that crystal that's causing this. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. It's trapped in there. I'm not standing here. Right. It does, right? <laughs> that's yeah, awesome. that's definitely cool. It's all right. nice. Crystal from Mexico, large and in charge. Kind of cool just because how big it is. Wow. Not why it's in this room, though. It's that bubble right there. Oh, look at it move. Oh, yeah. There's still water trapped in it. Correct. In hydro inclusions. <laughs> that oh water trapped in there is hundreds of millions of years old. That That's is dinosaur awesome. times. This could have that bit of dino DNA. I've been looking. <laughs> <laughs> I know wow. it didn't work out well in the movies. <laughs>
just got done looking for our gems and we think we found a few. There's Ed. We're gonna walk back to the RV park. I don't know if you can see it, but here's one of them. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be pretty. We're gonna walk back to the RV park. Um, they've got a wash station there. And then we're gonna grab a bite to eat. Ed and Brittany should be coming after that. Of course, we're gonna get washed up. And then go for a little bit of a hike. So overall, we would definitely suggest coming to the Ron Coleman Mine. They've got a really small campground there. Um, our site, when we get back, I'll kind of show you our site. It is black top, full hookup. And it's a little on an angle, but figure that in Arkansas. It's, it's nothing spectacular, but it's a place to stay. Yeah, and it's, it's nice. It's just a country campground, so it's been really nice. Um, you can wash up over there too, dear. Oh, you can wash over here? Yeah. We might want to do that because then we are not carrying back so much. Want to do that? I don't know. Okay, so we're going to go over here and we're going to wash off the rocks because if we see any that are not anything, we'll just leave behind so Ed doesn't have to truck that um, bucket all the way back to the campground. We're having a great time here. Decided to go get the truck. Is gonna walk back to the campground and come back and get me. It's cool here, it really is. Okay, I'm gonna turn you around. There is the start of the zip line. Unfortunately, we all decided today eh, it was not for us. Um, I don't think I could have done it anyway. Um, I'm just not good with heights, so that is definitely was off. Um, but the tour was fantastic. We learned a lot. Once you get, you do the tour first, then go down and dig. So then you kind of have an idea what you're looking for. Um, if you've never done it before, it's still not a perfect science. Um, one tip that I do have for you, I was finding this really orangey clay and it's really sticky and that's where I was finding the gems at. So this is definitely a thumbs up. So Ed, as I'm recording really quick, what was, is it a two thumbs up to come here? Yeah, thumbs up, definitely. It was worth it. I think we got some nice ones. I think so, I'm excited to um, clean them up and see because you're not supposed to like rub the mud and stuff off because you might scratch it. Some of them we did to make sure that was actually a crystal, but we'll see. Well, good morning. We're ending our time here in um, just north of Hot Springs at the Crystal Ridge RV Park. Um, earlier in the video, I showed you what the site looks like it's just really a country rv park but it's nice the host was super nice it's clean it's quiet no complaints whatsoever so we're headed off to an overnight stay tonight not as glamorous as this one but then our next day destination is going to be a fun one and we're going to bring you along You can have your big old house, pretty manicured lawn, beautiful bow window. I'ma take my metal box, all decked out, and go wherever the wind blows. You can do what you will, I'ma do what I please. There's more than one road to happy, I'm gonna get there in my RV.